Hello Ride On People. Did you get some nice things for Christmas? I sincerely hope you did. Let me show you what I got. I got this a very, very nice Shui Neotech 2 helmet. I already had a Shui Neotech 2, I've had a couple before, but my old one was uh, getting a little bit old now, seeing better days, so I thought I'd upgrade with this new one. This is a color scheme called uh, Jaunt TC5. So I think it's a new color for 2023. I really like it. It's a matte finish, kind of the black and grays uh, go with most most bikes. I like this uh, kind of bullseye design here. Made a couple of modifications to it, as you can see. Put my name on the back, in case I forget who I am. Uh, put a little right stick on the top here as well. Uh, at the back here, stick on plate and that is for the brake free unit to go on the back which is the uh, inertia driven stoplight that I use on the back of my helmet for safety particularly at night and also I fitted this uh, Iridium visor which is a uh, official chewy color and I think it's called uh, Fire Orange. And it's a, something like a TC3 uh, number reference. Reference is always on the side of your um, visor or face shield. So if you're not sure what, uh, what it is you have, it will always be written there and you can uh, then order a replacement with confidence. And this is a, an official Shui original visor. I find it's excellent in bright sunlight. It really cuts down the glare, but it's actually very clear to look through. When you have it on, it almost looks clear from uh, the rider's perspective. It's, it's quite amazing the amount of uh, sunshine uh, and bright dazzle that that actually uh, cuts out. I have uh, my new Cardo Edge uh, here, and uh, I've hidden the and I've hidden the wires quite nicely. I actually made use of this back panel here, cut a couple of little holes here, so that I could actually leave the connectors hidden inside that, which is a useful place rather than in the helmet liner, which might uh, annoy your head. And the nice thing about the uh, Cardo Edge mesh is that it's magnetic. You just put it close to the helmet and it will just lock in place. There's a little mechanism at the front to release it and you slide it forward and it comes off, but otherwise it is solid. I've actually held the weight of the helmet purely with the Cardo and uh, it will not budge. So it's very, very secure. Compared with um, the Pactalk Bold, I don't think there's much reason to upgrade, uh, but it is a little bit sleeker, and it's a bit cooler and it does work that little bit better. It's obviously magnetic in the way in which it connects. There is now no external aerial on top. Probably the main thing that I really like about it is how quickly it connects to the phone app. Uh, connection to the phone app was always very, very slow. Uh, it was a bit hit and miss. Sometimes it would do it pretty quickly. Sometimes it would take a minute or two to connect. Sometimes it wouldn't even uh, want to do that. So it was a little bit, a little bit hickey, but now every single time immediately connects straight to the app. It's really, really good. The other thing that's really cool is over the air updates. So I literally turned it on. It uh, instantly recognized my phone and said, do I want a pair? And I said, yes, please pair. And then it instantly said, there's a firmware update. Do I want the update? And I said, yes. And then you are good to go. You don't even need to create new groups in your app. It will remember the groups from the pack talk. So if say you have a second helmet with a pack talk bold on and uh, along with uh, a new helmet with a edge on it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, your phone will just connect to whatever device, whether it's the pack talk bold or the edge and all your groups will remain exactly the same, which is pretty cool. Other things I've noticed is uh, audio seems to be a little bit clearer. Other people seem to be able to hear me a little bit clearer. And it seems to, although I haven't read this, so I can't verify it, but it seems to have like an audio 
equilibrium balance now. So people that were particularly uh, uh, loud through the intercom to the point that's uh, almost annoying or hurts your ears now seem a little bit quieter. And people that were coming through that you could barely hear them, I can actually hear them pretty clearly now. So that works uh, very well. And uh, I would certainly recommend uh, the Cardo Edge if you're looking for an intercom system. It's a mesh based system. so. People can come and go, and it will just automatically connect to their intercoms, uh, pairing the simplicity itself, single button. And uh, it's also supposed to connect with other uh, Bluetooth headsets, which are not Cardo, uh, that a little bit easier now as well. So, recommended. Anyway, I like the look of my new helmet. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's really super comfortable and uh, it's great and bright sunshine and i like the look of it anyway let me know what you think uh, i'll leave you with a couple of stills and some nice music to play us out but uh let me know what you think of the overall look and if you've got any nice things for christmas let me know what they are in the comments down below if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all that good stuff and i'll speak to you soon Right often, right careful, right on. Hey you! If you want to become one of the right on people, don't forget to subscribe. Write often, write carefully, write on.